Well, we're now going to talk about some of the different laws and violations out there. We've got Michigan Conservation Officers Mark Papineau with us and also Brandon Keith. Fellas, welcome to the show. Thanks. Thanks. What are some of the most common violations that are out there? Let's say safety zone violations, hunter's orange violations. We get a lot of trespassing issues and uh, tagging violations. Now you talked about safety zone. Let's let's we'll go right in order and, and tell me about the safety zone. Well, in order to hunt in Michigan, you have to be outside of 150 yards or 450 feet from an occupied building or dwelling. That would include a house, uh, a garage, anything that could be occupied, even a horse barn. Mm -hmm. So you have to be outside of that distance. Uh, otherwise, you'd have to get uh, permission to hunt inside it. Now, Mark, you talked a little bit about trespassing. Correct. Uh, the common thing is um, being on property, obviously, without permission. Um, people need to keep in mind that farmland doesn't have to be posted, uh, the farmland and adjacent woodlots. Um, if it is posted, the sign, there are certain size dimensions, 50 square inches roughly and one inch lettering. Um, the, the big issue comes in, they're hunting legally on one property and they shoot a deer or an animal and it runs onto that property. Do they have a legal right to retrieve that animal? Big question out there. And, and the, the answer is no, unless they have permission from that property owner. If, if without that permission, they can't, they'd, they'd be trespassing if they went on that property to retrieve that animal. So really, as you're hunting, and if you're hunting near somebody's line, it would probably be a good idea to talk to that other landowner in case something like this happens. Correct. And I always recommend get the permission before the season starts, mm -hmm. and then that way, when you shoot that big buck right. on the morning opening day, you're not knocking on their door at 8 o'clock in the morning saying, hey, I shot this deer, can I go and retrieve it from your property? Mm -hmm. If you get, do your homework and get the permission before the season starts, chances are you won't have any issues getting that deer when, it, when the time comes. Now, Brandon, you talked about hunter orange, and, and I think there's a lot of misconceptions out there when it comes to that. People, uh, you know, some people say I got to be all totally in orange, I got to be half in orange, I got to have just a hat, just a vest. How does it work? Well, the Hunter's Orange requirements in Michigan require a hat, cap, vest, jacket, or rain gear. Oh, now, are these all oars, or you got to have all that stuff? No, you just have to have one or the other. So okay. a hat would, just a hat would be fine. Um, a vest would be fine. doesn't have to be a vest and a hat. Obviously, the more you have, sure. the safer you're going to be. Uh, there's also, there is something in the law that mentions 50%, and it mentions that if you're going to have a camouflage pattern on, if you're going to have camouflage orange on, that 50% of the pattern has to be the highly visible orange color. Mm -hmm. So there is something that mentions 50%, but we get that confused quite a bit. So, Anything else that we can add about violations that we haven't touched on here? Tagging violations. The, the, the important thing is, is to read your tag. Um, if, if you're hunting deer, you've got to remember in the excitement of things that you've got to remember to validate uh, the date that you kill the animal, uh, notch out the antler points on it and the sex of the animal and immediately attach that to the deer. Um, the other issue is um, using restricted licenses for sublegal deer. Those are only required, you know, use those for four or more points on one side. So they get a little mixed up in the heat of the moment there and they forget those simple things. And if they do that, then they shouldn't have any issues. And we have a lot of this information in the hunting and trapping guide, right? Correct. It's all in there. It's just it, you it's, gotta read it. Tends to be <laughs> you gotta read it. Tends to be a little bit long, and some people uh, just throw it off to the side. Some of them will have it in their vehicle, but they don't remember reading that section. So yeah, if they read it from cover to cover, it's in there. You know, another violation I think that's uh, you know prevalent out there, and it's it's relatively new in the last couple of years, and that is baiting. Whether you agree with it or not, it is against the law. Correct. Uh, with the discovery of CWD, chronic wasting disease, in Michigan in 2008 the Lower Peninsula has banned baiting. Uh, you can still bait in the Upper Peninsula, but the Lower Peninsula here it is closed. Uh, mainly the issue with chronic wasting disease is that deer that uh, congregate at a bait pile have nose and nose contact. The disease can be spread in that nose and nose contact, and then you know we can decimate a herd that way. So it, it, there's a scientific reason behind ban banning the bait. Okay. So. Mark, let's touch on um, loaded uh, firearms in your vehicle. Obviously, you should not do that, but uh, tell me about some of the laws and regulations there. Correct. Hunters need to remember that their firearms have to be unloaded in both the magazine and the barrel and enclosed in a case. Um, archery equipment has to be, arrows obviously cannot be knocked. They have to be in a case, or if you don't have a case, they need to be unstrung, and that goes for crossbows and, and bows. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else that we haven't touched on when it comes to violations that you guys see out there? 
I would think littering is probably another major one that we have. People that hunt state land seem to think it's not their property. They don't necessarily need to take care of it. It's out there for everybody's enjoyment. So if even your your spent shells or you know if you're up in the Upper Peninsula and it's a bait bag, make sure you pick up everything you bring out there because mm -hmm. all all we're doing is. Uh, causing problems for the next person that uses the land so well and I think uh, you know Mark and I you've talked with me before about being an ethical hunter when sure. people aren't around well if you're you're shooting your gun you got spent shells or whatever the case is you know ethics goes right along with that doesn't it? that's correct you know if you clean up your area that next person that comes in we want to keep our natural resources beautiful so that everybody can enjoy them mm -hmm. and nobody wants to go hiking or out hunting in an area that's full of people other people's trash so if, if you be responsible and you clean up your stuff that you leave um, it'll be there, for, you know, the nature will be there for everybody's enjoyment. And if anybody has questions, um, obviously there's websites, there's the hunting guide, there's a lot of resources out there for people. Correct. They can look in the hunting guide, obviously. Uh, there's also a website with uh, www.michigan.gov slash DNR. They can go to that website. Uh, there's a section on there that they can ask a question and get a reply back. Um, otherwise, they can call the local uh, office in their area. There's nine districts throughout the state and they can call the, the number and see if they can reach a person at the, the desk. All right and you know uh, on the Big Buck Poll we've got our website and we have a lot of people out there that, that do the blogs and the forums and all that type of stuff. So if you have a question for the DNR, for any of the conservation officers, you know, email it to us and uh, we'll get you guys back and get our questions answered. Excellent. All right. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Brandon Keefe and uh, Mark thanks. Papineau, Michigan Conservation Officers here, as we continue to do segments uh, with the Michigan DNRE, uh, trying to inform you about what's going on throughout the state of Michigan. You're watching The Big Buck Poll.